I wanted to show you some more equipment that we've got here. Um, this is um, typical Panasonic or JVC televisions that we work on. You know, a little bit old, but uh, we like the. We don't get in anymore to big screen TVs. We tried that, and the picture is usually poor. But uh, older picture tube TVs can be. Re those TVs could have been repaired, and we worked with uh, some folks over in Tucker, Georgia, uh, who were really good at repairing our TVs back in the old days. They repaired down to the circuit board. Um, I think it was called Hamilton TV. Excellent people to work with in Tucker, Georgia. Highly recommended. They've worked on uh, this Panasonic TV you see over here that was plasma. It needed a um, power supply, and we actually bought a power supply from an individual on um, eBay. Um, I believe it was up north in Michigan. A gentleman that sold us a used circuit board, and it actually worked. And I thought that that TV was fried from a lightning strike or something because you'd go to turn it on, it wouldn't turn on. And what we're finding out is that these TVs and computers and whether it's Apple, or Dell, or Hewlett Packard, or whether it was Panasonic or Sony TV, it doesn't matter. When you go to push the button and turn it on and you get nothing, it's usually the power supply. So, you know, um, there's a JBC TV over there. We're still getting back into VHS, believe it or not. The tapes are only a dollar. And then we're showing you, um, here's a personal collection of... Uh, records and so forth but this is a really old uh, pioneer vintage silver faced stereo and there's the uh, turntable this was all from a thrift shop but thrift shop believe it or not the thrift shop sold a, that pioneer turntable with a really high quality I'm going to lift it and show you that that's a very expensive uh, pickering needle and, and, and audio cartridge on there magnetic cartridge in the 70s, I think I uh, paid $30, believe it or not, or less for that turntable and this top part of the tuner. Then I found the audio receiver, the floor scan, beautiful blue VU meters. Um, the floor scan is gorgeous. In the late 1978, 79, they made these. Then I bought a uh, top of the line Pioneer cassette deck. The amount of money I'm paying for this equipment is so inexpensive because people want the newer stuff now. They don't understand how great the silver-faced equipment was back in those days. So I'm trying to build a rack of all of it together, the same matches. But, um, I mean, I think I actually talked that gentleman down to $15 for that Kenwood tuner. And the problem with the turntable was it was in pieces. We had a problem with... Um, the uh, counterweight in the back that balances the tone arm and he didn't know how to put it all together it was all in pieces when I got it. it was missing the dust cover also I had to find that dust cover that's a dust cover off a JC Penny Techniques turntable believe it or not that actually fit the same thing because who did JC Penny and JC Penny Techniques who built their equipment Pioneer or Kenwood built it JC Penny doesn't build electronic equipment so anyways that's an overview Got a record collection of probably 300 records, but I love that unit here with this. Uh, that receiver is from Alaska, and the cassette player Pioneer Top Notch is from Alabama. And then the rest of it was all from Georgia, so several different people worked on this together. We're going to stop for a minute. Uh, we might get over here to the toy room and show you all the great toys here now that we have the... Um, video on here, the video light. This is uh, showing you an overview of uh, the top half. There we go, there's a little bit more brightness. You can see the amount of toys that are up here from the floor to the ceiling. It's pretty intense, a lot of equipment. A lot of toys collecting Star Wars and Xeroids and Boaterific and Motorific and you can see uh, here's a collection of everything we got over here. That's uh, those are cas uh, VHS cassette tapes, a big collection. This is a collection of uh, some equipment from Star Wars and Batman and older Star Wars, 
70s, 80s, G.I. Joe from the 60s, and um, then if we pan along or over here, we can see a collection of um, another TV that was worked on, some of the audio equipment, guitars, some speakers from Polk Audio, um, that's a laser disc player. Um, that's a cabinet that was a bookcase actually for books and we converted it into all the collection of DVD movies which we've got about three or four hundred DVDs from um, there was a website called swap.com for many years we were swapping movies out you didn't have to pay for the movie all you had to do is just send it to the other person they sent you their movies and I think it was only like a dollar two dollars to use it per movie it was really inexpensive and that's how we built a huge collection of movies you would see the amount of movies in there and then in the bottom part is all laser disc, believe it or not, down there on the bottom. I'll zoom in on that. I can show you how cool that was, collecting a lot of nice people on eBay, selling their older laser discs. Why am I interested in laser discs and VHS? That's where everything started, people. It had to start somewhere. If we didn't have laser disc, uh, we never would have had. Um, DVDs and, 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 and Blu-rays of, as of today. It had to start somewhere, and Laserdisc, was, that was all Pioneer that started that. And then there were other companies like RCA, I believe, that tried to get into it. So, um, just going around the room here, we we'll show you, um, we do some photography too, of models and do the weddings also on the side. But um, we're going to take a break here. Um, I'm just going to show you an idea again the room here it's just you name it I mean we've got it with uh, all these collectible toys we've got those are all Bodorific uh, toys that's the Xeroids it's all Star Wars more Star Wars up here on the top up here um, we've got um, collectibles guns Statues, mostly statues, Indiana Jones, Raiders of the Lost Ark, older uh, Star Wars. Um, we've got more Star Wars over here. I'm going to take a 